Thanks, Tom, and ladies and gentlemen, nice to be with you again. Um, really, it's just a very, very swift update uh, on Phoenix, where we are at the moment. Um, and uh, really, if you need any further information, we've got updated brochures and, and company presentation, booth 24. So please feel free to come and interrogate us directly on the, uh, on the booth. Um, Phoenix Global Mining, AIM Company, London. Um, uh, basically, the basic capital structure of the company, uh, 42 point, uh, just over 42 million shares on issue. Uh, present share price running at 15.5. 15, 15 uh, share price has pretty much tracked the, uh, the copper price that we've seen of, of late. Um, board and management, we've got quite a significant shareholding and, and a, good, a very good solid um, uh, group of shareholders, uh, pleased to say. Um, a basic overview of the company, where we are at the moment, um, we're the 80% owner of the, uh, the Empire Mine in, uh, in central Idaho, and, and, and I can never stress to, to people just how good a location Idaho is to be after traveling the world and seeing many jurisdictions. 80% um, owner of the old Empire Mine, uh, past producer, high-grade copper, zinc, gold, uh, silver, and finally at the end of the life of the mine in Tungsten. The mine was in operation from 1901 to, uh, to 1942, as I said, with high-grade copper uh, from the underground mine. Um, we are planning to do open, uh, an open pit. Uh, it'll be an open pit heap leach uh, SXEW mine, and we're just commencing the bankable feasibility uh, at the moment with the aim of producing uh, 8,000 tons per annum of, of copper cathode and, and zinc. Um, we've put 413 holes into the oxide ore body, which we'll, I'll show you shortly. Uh, production targeted to commence in, in late 2021. Uh, in situ you have measured and indicated at the moment 850-odd million tons uh, with our resource that we've just declared in uh, last month. 15.2 uh, million tons, as you can see there, con the metals contain 73, 74,000 tons of copper. Uh, our zinc, we increased our zinc by more than 100% in the recent resources, but we've got gold and silver. Um, and um, we've recently as well increased our acreage, land acreage, if you've seen our, our, um, our press releases. We started off, in fact, IPO two years ago with uh, 818 acres. We are now at uh, 5, over 5,700 uh, total acres. And we're including a, a Carlin style um, project uh, group of claims in Navarre Creek, which is west of the main empire ore body. Uh, particularly exciting uh, piece of pegging done by uh, Ryan, Ryan McDermott, our COO and his team. Uh, we also discovered in last, um, last year's drilling program a brand new discovery of high grade lead and silver, silver at, uh, at Red Star, and more on that in a moment. But our, Consulting geologist uh, Nigel Maund, who, who wrote a, a report two years ago, three years ago, um, has just recently visited the prop property and in fact um, he is of the opinion that uh, we've, we have a substantial porphyry source beneath us and we've probably only seen between one and two percent of the uh, of the ore system. Um, we also have a group of two claims up in the uh, Idaho Cobalt Belt um, Bighorn and, and Redcastle, Redcastle, which abuts First Cobalt's Iron Creek mine. Uh, and that is a particularly exciting prospect, I think, for the future uh, and, and Cobalt. Um, very quick idea where, we, where we're operating. Uh, you'll see the um, uh, Mackie there in central Idaho, which is where the Empire Mine's located. Uh, 100 miles north is Salmon, uh, and we're, that's where the Idaho Cobalt Belt is. Um, a great jurisdiction, um, absolutely. And the Mining Journal in their risk survey last year pronounced uh, perceived risk with Idaho being equal top of the least risky places to be with Finland. So um, that says it all to be perfectly honest. Looking at our, 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 claims, our claims group, we have the uh, round the blue area, which is the, um, the patented claims on the, on the Empire Mine. Uh, that was what we first started with there and the, the green claims, but we've added 
the uh, horseshoe mine claims to the north of the yellow block, the brown block, the re very recently added the um, Windy Devil. We have a SCARN system that works up from uh, the Empire Mine, but interestingly, the Navarre Creek is the uh, a four mile long uh, Carlin style uh, target for our uh, future exploration. And that is on surface, very exciting prospect indeed um, for gold particularly. Uh, the mine itself, Empire Mine, old historic mine. Um, the green line represents the, the junction of the, uh, if you like, the oxide above the surface to the, uh, the underlying sulfide. No work done on the underground sulfides. Uh, the stopes running at six to eight uh, percent lead historically. Um, and uh, the, the block to the north was we drilled off. Um, you'll see here, for example, the, uh, the red, in fact, is the projected pit at the moment. Uh, we have a scar and ore body running northwest, uh, southeast, uh, up to 500 meters wide mineralization. Um, and the, uh, at this stage, we, the back end of the um, 2018 drilling program, we put three holes into an area which looked uh, to test the sulfide, the oxides there. And in fact, we drilled into sulfides, primary lead and silver and zinc sulfides. Uh, we were getting grades up, up to 20%, the, the upper detection limit for, for lead, and over 1,100 grams per tonne silver. So we ran, you can see the bottom section, we actually ran into the upper section, which we knew was faulted. So we, we actually gained height in the uh, mineralized system and we were in the lead zinc system with the copper system you'll see on the section there below um, beneath us. So that was a particularly exciting development and, and we intend to, our next phase uh, of exploration will be to put some more holes into the, the red star area. That was the uh, resources figures that we, uh, that we produced, measured and indicated. Uh, we will be looking to probably mine uh, the uh, the pit at a, a higher cutoff grade. Um, we're looking for a grade of around about 0.61 copper at a 0.325% uh, cutoff grade. And we'll have 10 million tons with a lower, lower grade stockpile to put to one side. We, the intention is to, uh, to, to extract the copper and the zinc uh, initially and then go back and take out the gold and the silver from a subsequent uh, leaching program. Timeline to production, um, you'll see there at the moment our BFS plans, um, we're looking for con already starting to talk to people with regard to construction financing. And we're talking to, uh, we will be looking to fund this mostly debt. We're talking to royalty people that if we're being approached now, obviously in the States, strategically, the future copper production is becoming a, um, an important uh, factor, I think, in the life of the states that, that the, um, how could I say it, the reliability on foreign sources for, for a lot of minerals is, is being questioned. Um, permitting, we have been running a, a program for two years. Um, the mine is in a historic mining valley. We've, we've excellent uh, company, local company, been doing our, our uh, environmental work. And uh, certainly as far as uh, the mine is concerned, we've got no gremlins there waiting. Water is not a problem, uh, which it is in, in other parts of uh, particularly the states. We have no migratory fish. The water table, in fact, is a thousand feet below the bottom level of the old mine, which is dry. So it's in the side of a mountain. But we're aiming to complete BFS mid-2020 with a view uh, all being well of being in production late 2021. That is the, uh, the current plan. So uh, looking at the, uh, the basic overview, um, we're on a major mineralized system. Um, major, major sulfide potential uh, of copper, zinc, gold, and silver. Um, not only with the present oxide that we have, we've got a BFS on the oxide program, which is um, very, uh, very close to production. We've got a clear route, and which is our priority uh, to bring into production 
um, the, uh, the open pit uh, SXEW plant. So the bankable feasibility study is underway. Um, we're in an excellent location, um, pro mining, first world jurisdiction, with great support from right up to the governor um, of, the, of the state. Um, excellent um, access to, to infrastructure. We are four miles outside the, um, the center of, of the small, tiny town of, of Mackey. Um, you, can, you can literally get out of bed in the, the, in the, um, uh, in the, in the motel and, and be on site in 15 minutes. It, it really is. We've got a high tension power line running through the middle of the property. And, and we've got um, uh, super, absolutely superb uh, support from the, uh, from the local population. Um, it's excellent. The, uh, we've got a, a management team that has been there, seen, seen it, done it, worked all over the world. Um, we've got an excellent um, local uh, team run by Ryan, Ryan McDermott, our COO. Uh, experienced geologists from uh, uh, particularly from Bingham Canyon, who are SCARN specialists, um, who've done sterling work in the last year, um, and, and a diversity of, um, of uh, commodities that we're, that we're producing. Um, we've got copper, gold, silver, zinc. Uh, at depth, we've got the potential of tungsten in, in, in what we believe to be a graded system. Um, we've uh, also, in the, the Empire, ore body, we've got the potential, we believe, at, at depth, we've got the Carlin style gold, and also, um, according to our consulting geologist, potential of a uh, molybdenum tungsten porphyry, which sits underneath us, large scale, uh, very large scale. Um, and of course, we've got cobalt uh, in the cobalt, uh, in the cobalt belt, the Idaho cobalt belt. Um, and really, just a few pictures of, uh, of where we are, the, um, the 700 level rehabilitation down in the bottom right hand side. Um, the, uh, the mine hill, which has a tourist, um, a tourist sort of route up it. Um, the, the, the local school, in fact, is, uh, the, their football team was called the Mackie Miners. So give you an idea that the, uh, that the support is there. And a lot of old historical buildings which, which, uh, which show the history of the old mine uh, that we will look to preserve as much as possible with the, uh, with the local community. Um, and that's it, with two minutes to spare, I think I've managed to make it. So um, we'd be delighted to see anybody um, booth 24 upstairs. Please feel free to come and collect a map and, uh, and a presentation, and I'll be happy to talk to, uh, to, to, to anybody. Thanks very much.